Hey, did you know? Bunoy. I was watching a video on vintage menus and spinach. You know what? I'm glad spinach is getting the appreciation she deserves. Good on her. Fine, I'll say it. Meow, 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 meow. Dreaming of a world where heads and tummies don't hurt. Please. Whenever I decide anything, I need 15 people to say, that's a good idea to me. Otherwise, I feel like I'm making a catastrophic decision that will ruin my life in a chill way. I, I, I'm, I'm chill, I swear. My dad is the funniest person in the world to make small talk with. We passed a Taco Bell and he was like, hey, what's your favorite thing to get there? And I said, the Crunchwrap Supreme? And he said, tell me about it. And I described it to him and he said, that sounds delicious. What's your second favorite thing at Taco Bell? Ah, two autistic people running their neurotypical scripts at each other. Yep, been there. We must increase the bisexualism by at least 200%. I want more people to give kisses to. Now that I'm nearing the end of my life, I'm taking time to reflect and consider all the choices I've made along the way. I should have flipped my sticks. <gasps> Randy? Art concept. Older lesbian couple who got together in the 70s and didn't get to have a wedding until 2015 wearing 70s wedding dresses. I need this in my life. That feeling when your body is requesting something but you're not sure what, so you just start eating and drinking random stuff to try and figure it out. Me eating a chocolate waffle at 7 p.m. Is this what you desire, oh prison of flesh? Guy kneels down and holds out his sword to swear loyal to me. But I just take the sword and run. You have my sword. Yeah, I do. Lol, my sword now. If I could have any superpower, it would be to have my teeth be brushed without having to move or even think about it. Just every morning and night, like clockwork. It's already done for me. That sounds nice. I want that superpower. I just sure hope it's not a guy who's breaking into my room and brushing my teeth without knowing. Right? Right? Do you want to see my new chainsaw and hockey mask? I love when you get experience points in an RPG for entering a new area. It's like how in real life I will level up for finding a new burger place in a new part of town. That sounds great. I'm just gonna hand out experience points. Andy, you get 300 experience points. Do whatever you want with them. One ass, please. Morbo. It's like a blorbo, but from a show you hate so much, you only like your personal headcanon about the character. I'm sorry, did you mean literally every alternative universe about Undertale? Because really the plot for Undertale is so abysmally short that it's just revolving around fan theories and fan alternatives and fan headcanons and things about the characters I didn't even know about. Why is there a fan character based on a fan character based on a fan character about Sans? You've heard of sexual awakening. You've heard of spiritual awakening. You've heard of consciousness awakening. Now it's time for neurodivergent awakening. I'm starting to think I may be neurodivergent. I don't know what to do. Help! Today I learned that the stereotypical witch look comes from early medieval female beer brewers called alewives. They kept a cat to chase away rodents, brewed beer in a big cauldron, used a broomstick-like ale steak to signal that they sold beer, and wore a pointy hat to stand out in a crowd. Yeah, they were brewing one potion, and that potion was the potion of party! Girl boss and ale wife. Yo, shout out to all those who hate how overly fancy some restaurants make their food. Like, all we want is a couple of scoops of ice cream. Not an entire sundae featuring fruit, whipped cream, and chocolate straw thingies. What are those even for? Did you know that bees sleep between five to eight hours a day, sometimes in flowers? Also, they like to sleep with other bees and hold each other's feet! Oh my god, it's so cute! Place a county man punches bear in the face to save his dog. Every time I see this post, I kind of want to cry. Look at how little that dog is. It's so small. It was so defenseless. And that dude fucking punched a bear to save it. Does that dog know? Does it know how much loved it is? I want someone to love me that much. I want to be that small. <clears throat> I agree with Gay Dicks 420 going to be honest, if I ever get more than like 300 followers, I'm probably just going to deactivate. 50% chance. Over a thousand. Bye. Well, okay, Tumblr. You know what to do. No, he's not daddy. 
He's just a college dropout who plays Minecraft for a living. From the creators of Kids Bop, meet Adult Bop, where we take regular songs and make it have as many curse words as possible. Fuck, 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 banana phone, fuck it, fuck, fuck. How to fast travel. Down NyQuil and sleep on a public bus. So I tried to do this and I saw a man sitting in the back dead ass eating an entire whole cucumber and I remembered I can't fast travel with enemies nearby. Yeah. I drink the blood of my enemies for breakfast. Oh, how does it taste? <sighs> Tangy. Hey PM, is it just me or do sandwiches taste completely different depending on how you cut them? No, you are correct. Diagonally cut sandwiches taste way better. <laughs> Clearly you have not eaten dinosaur cut sandwiches, Mr. Seymour. Wait, 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 hold up. Excuse me? Um, these are the shit, sir. They simply, as the kids say, slap. Me, a 32-year-old man running my computer to find these. I want them! You've heard of sexual awakening. You've heard of spiritual awakening. You've heard of consciousness awakening. Now it's time for... Prehistoric Awakening. <laughs>